First of all, I'm done for the day. This is what I've done today. I'm still writing AMAT. Um, it, uh, it was a successful trade for me. Um, up almost one point, exactly one point right now. I had two losers in AMRN and in GRUB. GRUB was a very unpleasant loser. But I also had a small winner in Beyond and a very nice winner, still riding, Woku. So I'm going to finish up just over $400. Nothing there really. I'm just glad to be green because uh, in the last uh, five trading day, including today, I was down just yesterday. So I'm going to finish the week with uh, four green days, one red, which is approximately my average. My average is a bit worse than that, like one and a half red day for a week, something like that. So anyway, a very small green week for me. Let me quickly go through some of the picks today so we can, uh, you know, just uh, discuss what we've done today. And if you have any questions, let me know. So posted long applied materials over 6150. Now applied materials is up 10% right now, almost 10% right now. Started with a very big gap up. Now it's a very big company. Lots of people are watching it. If you take a look at the volume, over 13 million shares by now. So, and, and always, always, always take a look at the daily. So look at this beautiful uptrend here. And look at this beautiful breakout on the daily. This is noticeable. You see, it's not only noticeable today, it's noticeable in the past few days because people are waiting to see it over this level. There's a lot of people who are following it, putting it, putting it on their list, on their watch list. And on a day like today, when it started here, it's very likely to continue. So again, think investors, don't think traders. Think what investors would do. Me, as an investor, if I would see the stock gapping up 10%, I wouldn't go long. It's Paul, it's, look at the daily here. It's, it, it's, it's just probably going to pull back in the next few days. So why would anybody would like to buy it as it is right now? Well, I don't. I just follow it throughout the day. Some people are buying it. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to sell it at the end of the day. But look at this beautiful initial move up. And again, posted it over 61.50. So look at this nice consolidation here, 61.50. And that just worked great, over one point right now. So that was really nice. My biggest winner today is Roku over 150.150. Uh, that one I posted, and again, Roku started with a gap up today. You can see that. Take a look at the daily. Roku coming up with a lot of upside momentum. And again, beautiful daily formation. Always, always, always look at the daily. Look at this breakout over here. But that's only a part of the story because you need to see this cup and then this handle. So all together, a beautiful cup and handle formation. And it just moved over the 150 mark. Our entry point was 150, 150 because the intraday is what counts. And when, once it started up, uh, moved down, returned. That was a beautiful reversal here. And the result is just amazingly good. Over three points right now, we were at four points. Probably going to continue coming up. Uh, my last winner, before I move to my losers, uh, was beyond. Beyond started with a very big move up and then it came down dramatically and usually when beyond starts to make a move it continues. My entry point for a short was 8060. At that point which I posted in the trading room you can see that it also had an inverse cup and handle just as it moved under 8060 and look at this crash here and look at the volume. That was just very fast, very nice a very quick partial, not a huge winner. I was uh, I was uh, trading it with relatively small size because you know it's it still was a bit green, but you can't argue with the fact that it failed to move higher and had a very beautiful um, cup and handle formation and nice downside momentum. So that was my last uh, third winner today. I did have some losers. Started with AMRN for a long over $23. What happened with AMRN is that it started with a huge gap up today. It's up 5% right now. Moved up, came down, you look for a pullback. It did pull back up again. You see this bottoming tail here. Uh, and I posted it for a long over $23. 
and it just didn't make it. It came down and still going just sideways. So how to say, maybe I went in a bit too early with AMRN. I guess that was the issue. Probably went in too early, but it failed. You never know. Usually a stock like this, which starts with a gap up, usually uh, continues, but uh, certainly did not work. Uh, GRUB is the same story. It's right now up 1.9%. It was maybe 4% up when we, we first took it. So again, started with a gap up, pulled back down. You see all these topping tears. That's where I put it for a long over $40. Actually, not there. Where was that here? Yeah, it, it moved down, waited with this one, came over 40 and failed. Again, hard, hard to uh, anticipate. When stock is up that much, you expect a pullback to succeed, especially when it fails once and then makes it the second time. So I was expecting it to succeed. Uh, it just came up 20 something cents and then failed. So GRUB was my biggest loser today and I lost over three grand in GRUB. But I also had my winners, gonna finish my day up just over $500. Um, probably 200 of that's gonna go on commission. But anyway, a green day, can't argue with a nice green day. Hope you guys, um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed your trading day today. It wasn't amazing and you know what? To be green on a Friday is, uh, is good. To be green on a Friday when usually you don't expect the market to move much is not bad. I mean, it's kind of okay. And the, well, a few hundred dollars. It's good enough. It covered my, um, it covered my two um, uh, purchases I just made in Amazon, which I received today. So that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> just small stuff. So that's good enough. Um, traders, I wish you all the best. Um, a very happy weekend. We worked hard this week, so enjoy your weekend. Take your time. <coughs> Spend it with your family and uh, come in with, uh, uh, with, a lot of, uh, with a lot of power next week so we can uh, have another great uh, trading week next week. So I really enjoyed this week. It was an almost all green week, four out of five days. Appreciate the time you spent with me. Hope I could help you learn a little bit and uh, trade better and um, hope to do the same next week. So have a great weekend and thank you for participating. You guys on YouTube, if you don't mind, give us a thumb up. That will be highly appreciated. So have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. Traded has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004 and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.